I first discovered my passion for science probably when I was in grammar school. When I finished my master's degree, I was assigned to Iona, and I pursued studies for a doctorate in physics. After being at Iona for four years as a part-time teacher, I joined the faculty as a full-time teacher. Back in the 1990s, uh, the space agency, NASA, had a program known as the Joint Venture Program. I applied for the grant uh, through Iona, and we received it. As part of the astrobiology studies, we are looking for conditions that could support life on other planets. Specifically, uh, I am studying Mars. It's a very hands-on experience. When we operate the telescope from Iona, I don't have them looking at what's going on. I have them doing what's going on. We have a core curriculum here at Iona. And a lot of students don't understand why they have to take courses in maybe seven or eight different areas. But on the other hand, uh, they take courses in those different areas to develop skills that they need in the long run. Those that have graduated here five or six years ago, I mean, they're in great professions. But the more recent students are likewise uh, in that route also. Since I became a full-time teacher, the uh, Dean of Students asked me to become the moderator of the rowing program. I decided that I wanted to be a more active moderator. I think it means an awful lot to the students because uh, obviously going to class and so on is important for them, but many students, if not all students, have pursuits in other areas. You're not interested in the sport, you're interested in the person. The value-based education at Iona uh, is present in many ways. One is through the curriculum, where our students take courses in religious studies and philosophy. Campus Ministries has a variety of different mission opportunities, whether it's local or they have mission trips to various parts throughout the world. For instance, our students are going to Mazabuka in Zambia. One of the students was really inspired by this, and she came back and uh, talked to her mother. And they started a foundation to fund different projects in Africa. They've actually funded the digging of three different wells in different parts of Sierra Leone. We have seen Iona students move the world in science and technology. When I meet an alumnus, they are always asking about their former teachers. I think that the fact that they're always asking about one of their professors is an indication that they had a good experience at Iona. <laughs>